recording going? Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Hoya Locker Room, episode 64. Um, we're excited, we're honored um, to have Othella Harrington in the building on deck at the locker room, in the locker room. Um, of course, my my esteemed host, uh, Markham Stansbury, is in the building. Markham Stansbury Jr. is in the building. Um, Othello, we want to thank you for coming through on a, on a Sunday, a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, your presence is definitely, definitely appreciated. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to Markham, and we're going to get this thing rocking and rolling. All right. Sounds good. Well, I just want to say welcome, O, <laughs> and uh, we'll jump right into it. Uh, how did the second best left hander in the history of Georgetown University end up at Georgetown? Second best. Who who's the first? You, you He's left handed. Him, <laughs> you talking to him? <laughs> <laughs> Othello is like this. Othello is like this every every other week. Every other week. <laughs> Oh gosh, I, I, I mean it was, I mean it, you know it was the, it was the process of just you know a dream fulfilled. I mean you know I grew up watching Georgetown basketball. You know um, they didn't come up, you know come on. I didn't have cable, so I mean you know you had to watch it. And then um, you watch you know the Big East, you know the Big East. Um, what is CBS. it? Yes. Yeah, CBS. And and you watch, you know, watch those games and everything. And you know, you kind of have a you know a love for them. And as um as time went along, I mean, you know, as I got older and as I got better, um, you know, as a player, you know, I, st I had those dreams and I started to learn more about the program, learn more about Coach Thompson, the school. And um, you know, it was a lot of people, you know, early on in my life you know, pushing, pushing the school and pushing coach and, and everything. And, you know, I fell in love with it, man. And so, you know, 92, you know, I arrived on you know, at Georgetown. I made that decision. I'm going to pause. Oh, open step. your blinds a little bit. Um, okay. Cool. You, you, cause, cause your, 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 your lighting is not great. You're the second best left-hander, but you might be better looking than me. And I'd like everybody to see it. You can see me now. A little bit, you know, when we redo it a little bit, I can swing it. What about that one behind over your uh, your left shoulder there? Uh, is there an no. overhead light in the room where you are? Yes, sir. Let me try something real quick, sir. Thank you, sir. And while you're doing that, I'm going to uh, touch on his high school career because him uh, ascending to the hilltop could not have been without um, some type of recruiting frenzy. He averaged 29 points, 24 rebounds, and five block shots in high school. Um, and I don't want to say your high school wrong. Is it was it Murray? Murray. Murray. Yeah. All right. Uh, Scored over 2,000 points. I'm trying to figure out, and he's number two, Markham. I'm trying to figure out who's the guy who scored 3,000 points in high school. Hollywood. <laughs> so, so uh, Hollywood. Who was that? Uh, James Robinson. That's what I thought, James Robinson. Yeah. Oh, figures, figures. So <laughs> what what was the recruiting uh, frenzy like, or was there a recruiting frenzy? Um, I mean, sure, obviously. He was the number one player in the country. What do you come on, man? Yeah, so I'm asking, what was the frenzy like? Oh, tell him to put some respect on your name. Oh, I put, I put it on 29 and 25. That's not respect. Come on, was it a recruiting frenzy? I want to know what it was like. What was this recruiting frenzy like? I mean, it it was it was normal. And I say it was normal just because my mom um kind of protected me a, a little bit just in terms of the number of schools involved, um, and you know who who we were looking looking at and looking for. So it, you know it was kind of like I wasn't on the phone all the time. I wasn't getting, you know, all, you know all these visits and everything. It was just kind of like let's pare it down, let's be serious about it, let's be realistic about it, and um, <clears throat> and so uh, that helped me out a lot. 
that helped me out a lot. Just helped me, you know, be a kid and just go out and play basketball and do the things that I love to do and hang out with friends and family. So, I mean, but it was, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, you know, you always had, you had pressure to, you know, to stay in state. And um, I was just about to ask about that <laughs> because there's, there's a, I don't care where you are. There's always pressure on the coach to not let guys get out of the state or uh, in the case of Memphis, get out of the city. Um, yeah. Did you seriously consider Ole Miss or Southern Miss or Mississippi State? Well, uh, I definitely did Mississippi State. And I mean, they, they recruited me to probably, well, it's without a doubt the hearts. You know, Mississippi State did. Uh, Richard Williams was, was a coach at the, at, at the time. And Coach Kirby was the assistant coach. And if you have any any knowledge about Coach Kirby's uh, uh, recruiting tactics, I mean, you know, he's very, like, he's very thorough. He's very thorough, you know, he's going to pay attention. He's going to be there. He's going to be available. He's going to talk to you a lot, <laughs> a lot. And we, we spend a lot of time together talking. And um, I mean, you know, personally, you know, it was the best, you know, the best thing. Like I love Coach Kirby, you know, even to this day. Um, so, but I mean, it all came down, to, you know, for me, when it came time, it was like, I got a dream and I got this friendship with the assistant coach, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, and, it's right. like, and it's like, hey man, I, I love you, you know, and stuff like that. If you were the head coach, it may, maybe, you know, maybe, but you can't, you can't pass up on dreams. But oh, oh, Thalo, touch on that dream. What, what was that dream? <laughs> touch on that. Yeah, I mean, just just to, to play for, for Coach Thompson, number one, you know, but you know, to also, you know, get a quality, good education, I mean, you know, you combine in the two, you combine in the two, you know, you're playing with coach Thompson, you're playing at a historic program, you're playing in a program that, you know, had, had put out Patrick Alonzo, the Kimbe, you know, it's, it's hard to say, no, it's like, I don't, I don't know. For me, it was like, I got a million dollars. Who am I going to put that million dollars with them? I'm going to put it with the guy on the, on, you know, on the side of the street who's giving me some money advice. So I'm going to put it with Warren Buffett here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so for me, it was kind of like, and if you know my, you know my, you know my character, you know, I'll venture out, but I'm not going to venture out when I see the sure thing. You, you know, right. you understand right. what I'm saying? So, yeah. So mentioning that, touching yeah. on that, right? yeah. Mike Sweetney was on a couple of weeks ago and he said that he didn't even uh, take any visits. Uh-huh. Uh, did you take your visits at least? Or were you just like, yeah, I, Georgetown. Yeah, yeah, I took my business. I mean, you know, you, you can't be can't be reckless about it. I mean, you know, you, you definitely, you know, you take your visits and, and everything and, and see what's out there. And, you know, you meet you meet people, you meet coaches and, and everything and see what you want. But I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I mean, it's. I mean, you can't do you can't do much better than, than the two than the two at the time, I mean. The academics and the athletics, I mean, they just didn't compete. Uh, Othello, <clears throat> you, you uh, touched on something. You mentioned your character. And anyone that I've ever spoken to about you or that had, and when, whenever your name comes up, that's one of the main thing, things that comes up, character. You're a man of character. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to digress again. I mean, you, you come in um with all the accolades and your freshman year um you led the team in scoring i think you led the team in rebounding also um and you you get almost won the nit championship i mean that was that that, that was one of those years where we were yeah we were just okay and you, you you took us almost to winning the nit championship what was that transition like for you and again i, I want to come back to the character thing um because uh like I said, that that comes out often. But what was that transition like for you freshman year? Hard, tra hard, very hard transition. Um, <clears throat> you know, you you, you you think you know, you know, as a freshman coming in, you know, you have all these these you know grand grand things in your head. You know, like you said, and you probably smelling yourself a little bit, and you say, ah, I got this. It's easy. It's as easy work. 
you know, with the basketball and, 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 and it's not, and it was, you know, it wasn't. And, um, but it, it was, I mean, it was good. I mean, you know, I got, I got pushed. I had great teammates. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it was hard. I mean, like even, so, so just a little story, you know, I go home, we go home Christmas, you know, we only had like a day and a half. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> smiling. <laughs> you go home with Christmas like a, you know, it's like a day and a half, and um, and and, and at that point, I you know I had I was kind of I was kind of homesick. You know, I was I was homesick. You know, I hadn't been home for, been away from home like that. You know, and so I was like, you know, my mom takes me to the airport, and I'm there. And, I'm looking at her and she's got tears on her eyes. I got tears running down my eyes. And you know, you you go you then you go back and you make it happen. But just I mean, more than anything, man, I mean, it was it was it was hard. I mean, it was hard, but I had I had a, a, a great, great teammate, Lamont Morgan. Lamont Morgan pushed me through that, man. <laughs> a great dude. Like he got he got me totally through my freshman year. The mom yeah. We do. Well, oh, well, let me just say this. Uh, as, as far as the Christmas thing goes, you say you got to go home uh, for a day and a half. Yeah. I am, I, I relate to you, you and your mom crying because when I would get on the plane, this was back in the days when they would let you go up to the gate and everything. Exactly. As I walk, as I was walking down, you know, the tunnel, I turn mm-hmm. around and my mom, like that was our little thing. I turn around and look at her. And she she stayed there till she literally couldn't see me. Mm-hmm. So I, I relate to that. But as far as going home for a day and a half, I don't feel sorry for your ass at all. We did <laughs> not get to go home. As really? <laughs> we practice on Christmas Day. Uh, my sophomore year, I never will forget this. This this really was a, like a life changing uh, moment for me at Georgetown. We were practicing, and Mark Tillman uh, screwed up in practice. And to compound it, he started giggling. His oh, nickname man. was Giggles. I mean, because he, he didn't he, because he grew up with Ronnie and John. He didn't have the same kind of fear. A big John, mm-hmm. everybody else had. So he screwed up and he starts giggling. And Big John went off. Son, I don't know who you think this is, what you think you're doing, but it's Christmas. You let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck about Santa Claus. And he For said that, and I almost died. Like <laughs> And he had Sid Levy go to Wise Miller's and get him a sandwich. And we had a five hour practice on Christmas Day. So you got to go home. <laughs> yeah, I, I can relate to those five hours. I mean, you know, I, t- I tell my daughter all the time, you know, Christmas time was was the best and the worst time. You didn't go to class, but you better believe. That you're gonna go in at twelve and it's gonna be light outside, and by the time you leave that joke, it's gonna be dark. It's gonna yeah. be heading on dark. It's gonna be getting dark around that time. I mean, just man, that was crazy. And then coach used to my 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 senior year especially, like he had uh, sounds of black and was out, and he had that he had that sounds of black pumping or Michael Jackson pumping, man. So we walk in and we like, ah, oh, here we go. Hey, a minute, y'all got music in practice? Man. Before, before practice, before practice, like yeah, so that's before, what I'm like if you about. walk in that, you walking in that jump. I believe in the side. Wow. Man, wow. he was pumping that jump. We like, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> so, so you yeah, mentioned man. Lamont uh, being a great teammate. What did uh uh? Losing another Southern guy, Dwayne Spencer. Like what? When when he left, what what did that? Uh, how did that affect your game? I guess I would say. Um, I mean, it definitely affected. I mean, you know, Spence Spence was a unique talent for for that time. I mean, you know, just I mean, you see a whole lot of Spencers today. You know, long right. long guy can handle the ball, can shoot it, can do a whole lot of can pass, can do a whole lot of things, but. You know, when when Spence and I were there, I mean, you know, Spence was a, 
a unique talent, you know, who could do a whole lot of things and and help and help a team out. And and so I mean, when he when when he left, which you know, I didn't know he left until I got back to school. Of course, you know, that's, not, that's 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 the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was checking in with you, oh, <laughs> right, exactly. But you know, that's the way it worked, and you know, you got you got used to the operation procedure. But hey, man, it was. It was, uh, you know, it was it was it was hard. It, it, I mean, you know, it was hard, you know. But you know, you push on. You, you keep you keep moving. You push on. But you know, definitely, it was it was a surprise. It was a surprise, you know, because I want to follow. I want to follow up on that um, yeah. because both you and Spence came in as parade all Americans, uh, McDonald all Americans as well, um, and it, and this stems from um, one of our followers on Instagram had this comment um, and the comment was big O averaged eight shots a game and scored over 1800 points. Probably the most misused talent of all time and still play with class and never complain. One of my all time favorites. What, what, what does that mean to you? Or if, if anything, um, um, because again, I, when I talk to people about Othello Harrington, um, your stats are all your stats are crazy. I mean, you you left Georgetown top five in rebounds, blocks, points. Um, but hearing that comment, uh, what does that mean to you? I mean, it, I mean, it, it means a lot. I mean, you know, it, it, everybody wants to be appreciated and you know, loved and everything. I mean, it means a lot. You know. Um, So, oh, let me I never, I never played for stats, though. You know, I, ne I never, I never played for stats. I, you know, I, I played to win. I played for my teammates, and um, and you know, I always, you know, I only knew one way, you know, how to play, and that's just the right way. The so, show. Yeah, yeah. So, so oh, you came in as the number one high school player. Mm -hmm. uh, Spence was a McDonald's All American, also. Um, who else, who else while you were there uh was McDonald's all america if anybody else yeah that that was that was it that was it okay we, we were we were the hamburger all americans <laughs> as coach used to say so um jumping jumping to your so lush, so you, what was it like for you hold on hold on hold on so going Going from that uh, to, to your draft night, yeah. Uh, what were your expectations? Uh, how did you feel draft night? I mean, didn't didn't have uh, didn't know what to expect. You know, to be honest with you, you know, um, I'd worked out for a lot of teams, and you know got some got some feedback or whatever and you know i sat there and watched and you know you, you just you go out and you step out on faith i mean you know you know what i mean you know you like hey man I've, I've done the process i've completed the process you know whatever comes next is is whatever that comes next but you know i was you know happy you know to, to get jacked at 30 you know by the uh, houston rockets and you know, have a 12 year career, you know, so I'm, you know, and, and, and during that time, you know, meet some incredible, incredible people. And hey, man, like I, I've, I've lived it as far as a basketball perspective, I've lived the dream. <laughs> I've lived the dream. Because you're such a high caliber dude, um, I want to ask you this your best year uh, was with Vancouver, 99 uh, 2000. Yeah. 13, 13 and seven. Yeah. 32 minutes a game. Um, would you consider that your best season or is there another season that resonates more? I mean, that was my best season numbers wise. I, I, I think the prior season um, with the Houston Rockets is probably my best season just because of the game kind of slowed up for me and I understood it more. Mm -hmm. than I ever have I was in I was probably in the, one of the best shapes of my career and you know and it's, it's just like I I could feel it like I could feel like 
you get there and you're like, man, okay, I belong. I know I can play. I know I can do this. But I mean, you know, we when you go to when you go to it from Houston Rockets, a winning team, playoff team to a Vancouver. I mean, you know, some things can excuse a little bit because you know you could put the numbers up and everything, but it's they're mean that meaningless numbers in the terms of you're not getting the, the desired results. You're not winning. So, you know, so so I say that to say the year before, you know, was my best. Yeah. What was it like playing in New York for you? <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Mark, I'm coming in broken and stupid right now. Yeah. <laughs> he, he don't know how to stay out. He don't know how to stay go. out. <laughs> yeah, um, it was it was it was cool, man. I mean, you know, it, there's nothing like you can play all. You know, you can play in all these arenas. You can play, you know the stable or the, you know what was when, when i was started out the form and you know all these places down in miami but it's nothing like just playing in the garden i, I don't care what anybody says you know i you know i die on that hill like it's nothing like madison square garden what when you're winning when, yeah. when are you when you rocking it man it's it's unbelievable and i'm just thinking you know uh a guy like you from the south uh, <clears throat> i lived in new york for 15 years um, a guy like you in the South was that was that, and you had been going to the Garden obviously with 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 the Big East tournament. Yeah. Um, but now you're a Nick. What, yeah. What what was that like? Was that you know? So so it's funny. So like, you know, all the, all the time that you know I went up there in the four years, you know, at Georgetown, like I hated I hated New York. Like I hate like I was like ah, you know, from the South, you had all this green, all this, you know, it's the space and stuff like that, and. Mm -hmm. And in New York, you know, you had trash on the curbs and stuff. I'm like, I hate New York. It's dirty. Da, 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 da. And then, you know, so I'm in Vancouver and this is how the NBA works. So in Vancouver and we're, we're getting ready to go on a road trip. And so I get on a plane. I, I, get, I get on the plane. Like they knew already that I betrayed had been late. So I get on the plane. We're going to Phoenix, flying to Phoenix. You know, play about 30 minutes into flight, coach calls me, calls me up to his, you know, to his seats. Okay. Come up there. And, uh, oh, you've been traded to you've been traded to New York. And you no, know, I look and my first thought is, well, dang, you could have told me and I could have packed my bags, and, you know, got my bags ready to travel. But then, you know, at the same time, you're like, you, you're trying to control, you're trying to control your excitement because New York was winning and, and, and everything. And you, you know, maybe going into a better situation, you may not, you may lose some playing time, but you're going into a better situation in terms of, you know, just winning part. And so, um, and so to make, make a long story short, I mean, it was, it, it was good for me. Like, like once, once I got there, you know, spent some time and, mm -hmm. you know, got to know the place and the people and the way it works. And it was just like, man, love New York. Love it. Right, We're we going to give Markham one more chance to come. Okay. And, <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, oh, I will bench him and rank him <laughs> like, like, like Big John used to do. So oh, God. One more chance, Stansbury. Hey, oh, let, let me ask you this. I'm just, this is, I'm, I'm just curious, uh, g going to Houston, I, I don't know if you remember, I called you your, on, on your draft night. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and told you it was, it was, it was a blessing to, to be, to drop, to be able to go play with Dream. Yeah. Um, where, uh, I mean, not where, what was it like to be able to, to learn from him? Uh, you know, cause they, at Georgetown, they called me Low Dream. So uh, you know, I'm just wondering what it was like to, to learn from Big Dream. I, I mean, it, you know, it had been an honor. I mean, you know, to, to come from learning from, from big from big from big from big coach and then go to Patrick, you know, learn from Patrick and Alonzo and the Kembe, and then to continue that by 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 uh, going to learn from one of you know the premier you know, who thought us, you know, the premier center in the league, you know, and, and dream at the time. I mean, that's just, I mean, what more can a young per player expect, 
you know, to fall right. into his lap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'll, I'll shake my head. Yeah, man. I look what it. I look what I found. <laughs> Who fell into my lap? Exactly, exactly. And so, I mean, it was it was good. It was really good. I mean, you know, like a dream is just a real class dude. You know, a perfect example for a young guy to have. You know, first time around in the league. Um, and, and you know, I mean, like we develop develop a competitive friendship because we play one on one before games or during pre before practice and stuff like that. And so it it was good. It was good. But I mean, you know, also you know, people forget that I also played with Charles Barkley, and he he is the one. Yeah, he where'd you play with team. Charles? When I got drafted. You remember they traded Robert. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Bark, yeah. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. And and so Charles, I say more than anybody, like I I guarded Charles like most of practice, most of like he taught me more than anything about about the game, kind of like helping me out a little bit. Uh the pro game a little bit more than, than anybody. I could I could I could say. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm just again, fam. I'm I'm really happy to to finally get a chance to you know chop it up with you, um, because again, I think you're you're a special person on and off the court. Obviously, on the court is is you know we've, we've gone through that, um, we've touched on that. I I just like to know um, these are kind of character questions. Where did you get your calmness from? Your humbleness. And who was your biggest inspiration before you got to Georgetown? And who was your biggest inspiration, um, pros and professionally? <sighs> he, he had to adjust his seat. <laughs> <laughs> like these, these are deep diving questions here, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, fam. Well, I, 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 we sent you the, the conversational question. You did. You did. But but, you but did. then I, I just started thinking. I said, man, I might only get one chance to talk to my man. I got I got to go in. <laughs> and, and you know the fans want to know. I got to tell you, um, you know, we we get you know we get some comments, and most of the comments people were really excited to hear from you. Um, they yeah. can't see you, but yeah. they're really excited to hear from you. <laughs> oh gosh. So hey, I'm, I'm hey, 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 inspiration. Hey, look, it's the same face just with grades now. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe a little fatter. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. So but, your calmness and inspiration. Yeah. So, I mean, just. I, I, I don't know where I get my calm. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm not sure, you know. That's fair. Like, That's just fair. A, a, you know, just a, I guess a personality trait that. It's good and bad, you know, in some instances, but that's who, you know, that's who I am. Um, yeah, I can think of it being bad playing for Big John. And since I had that privilege, you know, if you acting too calm, he. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No question about it. But um, <clears throat> I, I, I guess my inspiration and you know, growing up, you know, it would have to be, you know, the example that's in the household, which is my mom, mm -hmm. you know, um, just, you know, like I said, hardworking, you know, humble, unassuming, you know, just always carried herself in a way that, you know, was was representative of her, the, her family, and, and, you know, so, I mean, that would be, you know, that that's obvious. That would be the obvious, and then I mean, you know, when I got to Georgetown, I mean, you know, I, I would, I would have to say, you know, from a, a professional standpoint, you know, Big John was the standard for me. You know, just the way he, I don't know, he, he, you know, he could navigate, navigate situations, navigate people. You know, um, the way he carried himself, the, the, the amount of respect he commanded. Um, that's, yeah, 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 that would, yeah, definitely. Gotcha. gotcha. So, oh, <clears throat> how, how did you, 
uh, transition from playing in NBA 12 years uh, to getting into coaching? How, how, how did that happen? <laughs> so uh, it, it happened was, you know, um, it, to be honest, it, it, it's, it's all because of Ms. Michaels, to, to be honest wow. with you. Yeah, wow. yeah. So, you know, once once I stopped playing, and I, I stopped playing because, like, I had a, I had an injury that that um, to my knee that I was trying, you know, I heard wasn't playing on the team and wasn't playing on the team my last year, hurt, not playing, and I was, of course, like everybody else, you know, when you when you get hurt, you know, in the summertime, you go who you go see, you go see Miss My, you go to see Miss Michaels to see, you know, okay, you know. And I go there and I go, I go to Georgetown, you know, to get some rehab, get some, you know, get some thoughts and everything. And, you know, I didn't know, you know, Ms. Michaels had been advocating for it, you know, but, you know, bitch coach sat me now. It's like, hey, what do you think about coaching? Da, da, da. You, you know, coach, hey, hey, you need to do, think about going in the front office, the NBA team. What do you think about coaching? And I was like, you know, coach, well, I don't want to do this right. You know, I still want to play. You know, the players are always the last one to know that it's over. <laughs> right. That is, you know, that it, that you know that it's that it's over. And so, you know, I said, "Hey, man, I still want, I still want to play." He's like, "Okay, oh, I respect that. I respect that." And you know, kind of talked, and years go by. <clears throat> you know, a couple years go by, and I'm still trying to work out, trying to get trying to get my knee right and then I just get like hey you know it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen whatever whatever and you know I, I made a call made a call and it was like uh oh, let us think about it come on up you know we'll talk and you know it's no promises anything we'll talk and came up and got the you know got the job and you know, the rest is history. So, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know if you caught this, but uh, we had a little surprise guest pop in here. I see. <laughs> uh, I see. Who, who made that NIT Gatorade for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. See, Malcolm. See. You always gotta take a shot. <laughs> always, always. Hey, 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 Gord, hey, Gordon, I'm so glad you popped in, man, because Othella is so humble, man, and so. I know. Yeah, we 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 need we we needed someone to come in. With the him up. We need someone to come in with the heat. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, oh man. Uh, I just wanted to pop in and, and, and you know salute you and celebrate you. Uh, you know when when you came in, I was a senior when he came in as a freshman, and he just came in <clears throat> confident. You know, as Markham pointed out, you know we, we were going through a transition that year. Um, actually, there were no seniors uh, players on the team when when um, when O came in, uh, so there was definitely like a, a void that he. Uh, immediately stepped into and uh you know just took charge and you know just this had this presence about him like like you said very humble but but strong you know um and um so he led he led that team that year uh you know not only you know on the court but you know led by example mm -hmm. and you know we uh you know we, we we struggled a little bit but and and that was the first year we had made the the NCAA uh, but when we did make the NIT, we made it all the way to the finals, you know. So, you know, we, we, we came strong that year and, you know, we lost to Minnesota in the finals. But, um, you know, O showed as a freshman stepping on campus that what he was capable of doing and leading a, a team. So, um, you know, I've always been a big fan. You know, I was, you know, we were always joking around. Um, <laughs> Uh, I got I got a little nickname for him. I don't know if you want me to share that with with everybody, but 
<laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, well, what? I tell you what. I tell Some you. Some things gotta stay in the locker room. Exactly. <laughs> so, so that's right. Just for our audience out there, we want you to know Gordon Bob is coming back on. He uh, he's doing fabulous things. That's just a teaser. Uh, yeah. Some great news that just happened to him. Mm -hmm. uh, so, congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Stay tuned. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, oh, oh, oh. I mean, when, when, uh, Malcolm and Gene reached out for me to, to jump on, I, I immediately get, as you know, it's early on the West Coast. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is early. But it's all fam, you know, that's what, that's what this is all about. You know, right. we are all family. Um, we're there for each other, you know, whenever the call comes. And, and that's what this is all about. You know, this whole locker room that Gene and, and Markham have uh, embodied that spirit that, that you know, and uh, that we're always here. So, um, you know, I salute you on all, all the things that you've done, both in your playing career and your coaching career. Um, you know, just know that it's it's been noticed and 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 celebrated. We all uh, are proud of uh, of what you've been doing. Thanks, thanks. That means a lot. That means a lot, Gordon. I awesome. appreciate it. Hey, hey, hey Gordon, you. Are, you, are you available? I'm thinking about Mark may maybe taking the sabbatical. Are you available? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay behind the camera, man. I'll stay behind the camera. Thank you. That's me too. I'm with you. <laughs> no, you're literally behind the camera. Can't even see your ass. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Hey, which, it's one thing to be humble. It's another thing to be invisible. Oh, witness protection. That's right. Oh, let me ask you this. Uh, we always ask uh, people about their top five Hoyas. So, but we started doing something different. Um, so I want you to name me your all-time starting five by position, but then I want you to add seven more guys to fill out the roster. So just pause for a second. So Gordon, I got nothing to do with this shit he's doing right now. I got nothing to do with this. Just for the record. So go ahead, please continue. <laughs> I'm hoping Gene is not on that top 12. I'm go not ahead. on anybody's top, top 12, but I'm number 13. <laughs> I'm number 13. Go. Oh, gosh. That's funny. Then we're going to go top five managers after that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I like that. Boy. I like that. That's right. I don't know. I mean, that's tough. I mean, you got to go. You got to go Patrick at center. You got to go probably Mike. Maybe Mike Graham at, at power four. You go Reg at a small. You go Sleepy at. You go sleep, you go sleepy at the two, and you and you go Allen at the one. Um who do you put in there? Hmm. You say another seven? Yeah, you're filling out you now you're filling yeah. out the roster. That's, yeah. that's the whole yeah. show. That's the whole show. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a whole show. Yeah, that's that's a, you asking a lot, doctor. Hey. <laughs> I mean, Mike Sweetney did it. Mike Sweetney did it, no problem. Be begrudgingly, begrudgingly, exactly. he did it. Exactly. <laughs> Fill out that team. All right, so you go, you go, Lonzo at center. You go. I'm on. A, I'm. I'm. I'm on. A, I'm gonna go out, and this may be controversial, but you put Joey Brown at one. Oh, love it. Love yeah. it. You know, you know, by the way, you don't have to fill out by position now. This is just Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go, I got you. I got you. Now you want to tell him how to do his own team. <laughs> no, I'm not telling him nothing. <laughs> Gene said he had nothing to do with this. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Coach Thompson over there. <laughs> oh gosh. I I go with uh hmm. Might have to go with Jeff Jeff Green at, at the four three four three position. Um, who else would I? Um, blah, 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 blah. Jaron and and Mark. Mark Tillman. Yes, sir. All right. So now you got 
You got two more guys. Hmm. Like, good gracious, man. Like, this, this is more than all the, the, the questions that you said. <laughs> <laughs> and for a reason. Hey, look, and for this. a reason. Oh, and for a reason. Oh, gosh. And, um, sheesh. From an energy standpoint, I, I would have to go. I, w- I would go. Jerome, Jerome, I knew you were say that. and then and then then I, I mean you, you can't you can't you know put it, leave Zeke I mean the Kimbe out so you put the Kimbe in there also. So so and your twelve guys, the guy who left Georgetown, top five points, rebounds, and blocks. Doesn't make your team. You don't make your own team. Hey man, I'm trying to win. <laughs> 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 hey, look, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to, I'm, 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 try, I'm putting together this thing. You got to take it. You got to take it. Your, 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 your we already touched on this. He's the character dude. He's not going to name himself. <laughs> yeah, we already yeah. touched on. He's a character oh, dude. Gosh. And, and, and just, just to, uh, to soothe Gordon. You can say that he would be the manager on the team, but we yes. all know <laughs> you heard about me, so I, I'd probably be making that Gatorade. But <laughs> since, since we weren't actually teammates, I, I'll let you put Gordon there. <laughs> all right, all right, you, Gordon, I got to. I mean, you can't. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. Yeah, it's hard to do because, it's, it's, because it's hard. you want to. You want around them. Right, you know, right. But, but I mean, you know, for, for me, it'll be, you know, Brian, Brian, uh, Tom Cag, Ronnie Pankowski. Um, sheesh. No, nah, that's good. And I mean, I love uh, Scott. I love Scott. You know, Gordon and Scott, you know, so I love Scott. <laughs> yeah, Gordon, Gordon and Scott were trained by a pretty good guy. <laughs> Say, 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 you got a, you got a tree too. You got a, you got. A, <laughs> you know, they have, they have coaching hey, trees. The manager <laughs> tree is strong. That's right. I, I think, I, th- I think, K, I think KB got a lot to do with that. Oh, without yeah. question. Word up, yeah. Word yeah. is bond. Yes. Yeah. No question. Man, I just thank, uh, thank both of you guys for, for sharing some of your Sunday, man. Uh, we got a, we got a game coming up. Uh, don't want to hold you guys too long. Uh, we need to get a win in there. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we, we'll get man. one. Yeah, we'll get one, man. But you know, our guys getting better. Are those, are, are those guys competing? Like, can't be small minded, small pictured about the whole thing. Yeah, mm. you know. Gordon said a, a a huge thing. He said, "You know, when we when I came in, we had no singers on that team. Well, experience wins. Experience wins, and so yeah. just got to keep supporting those guys, give them good energy, knowing that you know, hey, the guys like us got their back." Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you By said. The way. That. Here's one last question for you. Oh, how does it feel to be a t-shirt guy? Say it again. How does it feel to be uh, a t-shirt guy? I don't know what you're talking about. I do. Unfortunately, I do. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can you see that? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, where'd you nice. get that from? This guy right there. <laughs> Mark, where'd you get that? Man, I got a lot of stuff in the, in, in, in the closet, man, up in the attic. Boy, I tell you. Uh, Mark, Mark, used to, Mark used to raid uh, sports promotions. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Gordon, hey, Gordon, have you ever heard Markham's story about the Coke bottle? Oh, uh, have I? <laughs> <laughs> That's legendary. You gotta, you gotta so, give that up. You, you're gonna get, you gonna get in trouble. You gonna get in trouble because whoever whoever you stole that from, they will come back and get it. <laughs> <laughs>
Woo! Guys. Well, well, fellas, man, it's been it's been real. Really appreciate it. This is this is what you know to me. What Georgetown is really all about. Gordon can't thank you enough for popping in, man. Makes it special. Makes Absolutely. it real special. Big O, man. I, I, <clears throat> much, much, much appreciated, man. You, you again. You, you're, you're you, as a figure, as a Georgetown figure. You, you stand, you stand tall. You stand tall. And like I said, man, uh, thank you very much. Um, you're welcome back anytime. Um, and uh, yeah, if, if anybody has any closing words, those are mine. I just want to thank everybody for for coming out on your Sunday. All I gotta say, oh, is uh, if they can't stop the left, you don't need to go right. <laughs> Words to live by. Words to live by. I'm, to I'm, live feeling, by. I'm feeling the win today based on this show. I'm feeling the win. I'm feeling oh, the win. gosh. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you guys so much for having me, man. And you know, it's, it's great seeing Gordon. Gordon, thank you for your words, man. I appreciate it. You know, it means a lot to me, you know, um, you know, coming in as a young pup and, you know, having you guys speak so highly of, highly of, th speaking, think so highly of me. Um, but hey, man, like you said, we're family. We gotta continue to support each other, lift each other up and hey man, let's like, let's get a win. Let's get a win. Let's let's support these guys. Yes, Amen. Sir. Amen. All right. Stay blessed, fellas. All right. All right guys. Take care. Take care.